I gotta be honest guys, but cable management is my least favorite thing about building computers, about setups, about managing my studio. It's one thing to clean up the space for an Instagram shot where everything is pretty and clean, but it's another thing of actually living in the space, working in it, and it being as effective as possible. Of course, when it comes to cables. So like if I have to replace a keyboard or a mouse, it's not like a 30 minute adventure of trying to reconfigure all the cables. I totally get that some people find it therapeutic, like uh, HP when we were building my water cooled machine, but <laughs> I don't. So Mike Niebuhr challenged me to spend 50 bucks on the most popular cable management accessories from Amazon and see if I can do it right. And so in today's video, let's do some cable management and find a way for me to actually enjoy it too. Hopefully this should simplify things. So good people, come along, let's clean this stuff up. It's true what they say about the Corsair A100. We've got water-cooled hardware for cool temperatures, a cool design that stands out with plenty of good I.O. It's whisper quiet with an efficient fan and occupies as much space on my desk as my plant. The Corsair A100, up to 16 cores with a 2080 Ti. It does not disappoint. Check it out below. So what started as a project that I was kind of dreading turned out to be actually quite fun. I never thought I would say that about cable management. Many of the techniques we apply in dealing with cables inside a computer case apply here as well. And actually a lot of the accessories that I bought were not as helpful as I thought they would be. So first I have these really awesome adhesive clamps that you can put literally anywhere on your table, under, on the side, or even above. I also have these adhesive cable timeouts and they're awesome because you get to decide how large the cable tie you should use. Of course, I have large and small cable ties and Velcro cable ties, which are super important. They also come in different sizes and the best part, they are reusable. So if you need to open up a flock of cables, you don't have to cut anything, just simply open it up, remove a cable and tie this back down. I also have a few of these adhesive rubber cable channels. So if you're using a specific cable that you don't want to be reaching for constantly, it's a nice way to get that secured on your desk and in reach. They always come in different sizes and different colors too, and I will 100% use them all in the long run. The last two items include this flexible Velcro channel that you can cut to size, and they're awesome because they can house large cables, small cables, whatever. And the last item are these plastic cable channels that are great for security because it's super difficult to remove cables from them, and because of the plastic design, everything stays in place. I have done a video on tips for cable management inside your computer case, check it out, which is super helpful, and I'm gonna try to bring in some of those techniques on working with this thing. So the first part with cable management, as you would with a case, is to remove anything that is unnecessary. And in my case, I definitely wanted to remove the NZXT Hue 2 Plus hub behind the monitor because not only was it uh, adding bulk to the cables, but it's been bugging on me and not really working properly. So that has to go. And looking in the back, as you can see, everything is such a mess. There's absolutely no organization in cables and how they're channeled and where they're going. It's a really good way to see what the before looks like because after we're done, it's gonna look pretty sweet. I actually ended up removing the plastic housing because removing cables from it is a complete pain and I found a better way to hide all my cables. One more item I forgot to mention is double-sided tape and this thing is your friend. Especially ensuring the power strip is in the right location below your desk so you can plug things in. And one thing about this desk is that it comes with a cable management net that is right in the center, but there's an actual like metal frame right in the center of it. So populating anything in that space is absolutely useless. Eber has the same desk, but an earlier model, which did not have the support beams in the center, which means that you can put stuff there. But because this is what we're left with, double-sided tape for the power brick is actually a really good option. The next thing I wanted to do is secure all the cables one by one so they're properly organized, starting with my lighting cable. I wanted the power on-off switch to be in reach, so I used the adhesive clamps to secure the cable and it has worked wonderfully. The only thing to keep in mind with these adhesive clamp mounts is not to put too much tension via the cable because the adhesive might not be as strong and it will peel over time. I decided against the plastic housing for smaller cables, even though it's a great solution that will look clean, removing cables from that will be an absolute nightmare. I wanted everything to be accessible if I'm swapping out my keyboard, if I'm replacing the display cable on the monitor, for example, everything is individual, 
without being too bunched into this bundle. If you are worried about really long cables from your USB accessories, always remember that you can bunch up the stuff that isn't being used. So even if you're not doing like a full on maintenance job with making sure that the cable is routed properly, you can just bunch up the stuff that isn't used at the end where you know your plug is. So that's kind of hidden behind the computer and you minimize on like the cable being visible below the desk. Doing the rest of it really reminded me of doing cable management inside a computer case, but doing something with a desk is actually so much more enjoyable because you have so much extra room. Plus I'm using the power strip to hide all the cables behind it. After cutting off the tails of the zip ties, I think we are looking pretty clean, especially versus what we started with. Since I'm using external SSDs to capture all my footage, I routed an additional USB-C cable to the front and using one of those adhesive look clamps so I can simply remove my hard drive from the camera, plug that into the front without needing to access the back of the computer. And yes, I know it's a sin to keep the PC, especially of this caliber on the floor, but I just feel like it's kind of a little bit too bulky to be sitting in the corner on my desk. I still haven't found a good pedestal, but Hopefully that will come later. As you already can tell, I've added additional lighting to replace my Hue 2 lighting setup. And these are the Corsair IQ LT100, the new light towers. They are unconventional, but they look fantastic. But of course, when it comes to lighting, we have a power cable, we have a cable that routes both light towers, and we have a USB cable going into the PC. So I had to redo all the cable management. But again, because I'm doing everything individually, it's a Super easy job, follow the same type of uh, technique and procedure to hide all these cables. Now you put in a few hours to make sure everything is clean. What is next? For this editing station, I've settled all my peripherals and the only thing I might swap out later might be the light towers, maybe the monitor. So that will be an easy job to do. But the before and after, I am very happy with how things turned out. A super clean under the table, super clean top table as well. And everything just kind of is collected and bunched up right behind the PC. And then it was time to move on to my gaming station. And that actually was a bit more challenging because there's nothing underneath the desk and all the cables are completely exposed above and below. I use the same technique with the adhesive cable tie points and use uh, larger cable ties to bunch up some of the cables, so like the power cable, the display cable, uh, mouse and keyboard as well. It is a more permanent solution, but if I do have to swap something out, I will have to cut the cable ties. The last thing I did was use a Velcro cable tie on the monitor stand to collect the cables so they exit right down in the middle and they're not visible to you when you sit on the computer. And the end result above and below the desk is absolutely clean as all the cables are actually on the edge of the desk and nothing is visible below. So cable management on both stations is complete and I'm very happy with the results. I realized that I was projecting my frustration with cable management from working inside PC cases, but when it comes to doing setup cable management, it's a lot easier because you have so much extra room to work with. So don't be super intimidated. A couple of zip ties, a couple of the adhesive zip tie mounts, and you'll be fine. I'll link all the products down below that you should check out if you're looking to cable manage your space as well. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think of my, uh, my first attempt at doing something proper with the setup. I'm Dimitri, thanks so much for watching. Check out this other relevant content. Subscribe for more. I'll talk to you in the next video.